Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream job. Myself, Emily Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available in the lead code platform. And all the solutions for the questions which are asked in the lead code platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is provided in the video description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the toughness of the question. The premium level questions into of the lead code into one single playlist as premium playlist and also all the 230 questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type hard question number 1097 gameplay play analysis 5. Let's see the question in action. It is asked in GSN games. Okay. They have given two tables. Okay, only one table, activity table. The install date of a player is the first login of that player. Okay. We define day on retention one of some date x to be number of players whose install date is x and uh, they logged in back after the day after x divided by the number of players who install date is x. Round it to this months. Okay, write in SQL query to report for each install date the number of players that installed the game on that day and the day on and the day one retention. Okay. Okay, let's take an example and understand this. Okay, here you can see there are two players, three players, one, two, two, and three. What is the first login date of 1, 2016, March 1st, 2, 2007, 0, 6, 2, 5, and 2016, 0, 3, 3, 1. If you can see, there are common dates. What are the dates? 2016, 0, 3, 0, 1, and 2016, uh, how many are there? Yeah, zero six two five. Okay. If you can see how many rows are there with this one, two thousand sixteen zero three zero one. You can see that there are only two rows. Similarly, how many rows are there with two six seven zero one? Only one row. Okay. And if you see retention means on the first day after that he should be logging again. For the first player, he logged again. Logged. For second player, he didn't log in. For the third player, he didn't log in. So, for the this date on March 1st, there are two installs. Among them, only one has done the thing. So, only one has installed among these two things. And second one doesn't install that one. So, this will be 0 0.5. This will be 0, 0.0. That's it. That is what they're asking. So, first what we need to figure it out. We need to figure it out how many number of uh, what we should say minimum what is the minimum date for each player id and we need to see whether there are any consecutive days or not let's first consider the minimum days from activity table mm, group by player id First login date will be minimum of event date. So select player ID, comma minimum of event date. As I meant something. Here you can see every player's first login date it is there. Let's say it is CTE. CT1 okay now for every minimum player let's see whether any uh, other players are there who are logged in let's say from CT1 left join activity table okay let's call this as 
a and let's call this as b such that a dot player id equal to b dot player id and date should be one day bigger day dot one dot a dot event date should be equal to b dot event date Select asterisk. Okay, it should be date add. Okay, let's call it MN because in CT1 we are calling it as MN, the minimum date. Okay, here you can see only the first player has logged in again other players didn't log in again so what we need to do first of all here after that group by player id a dot player id and select a dot player id and count of rows as count of rows we should take as what Mm, as installs now we need to talk about day retention if you see event date here is not null so it is 1 if it is null call it 0 and let's calculate the sum of things by number of things you will get it so do sum case when b dot event date is null then call it 0 else 1 then the sum will be 1 here by count of rows okay, as day 1 retention uh, some case 1 also okay we should keep end here Okay, player ID should be called install date. Okay, we don't want player ID then. We want we should group by a dot event date then. Okay, a dot mn a dot mn is install date. Okay, let's keep one in one point zero. Maybe it's not taking fractions. One point zero into. Okay, let's got it. Let's submit it. Okay, what is the issue again? Fourteen seven eighteen ten four three zero 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 point two five two two five one two three four five six one two three four five six what is the mistake everything is clear okay we have to round it okay we have to round this around to two digits Okay, it got accepted by the platform. Okay, thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations and hands-on coding solutions, just subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for the data scientist or a data analyst SQL round. It will be greatly helping them and you also. And finally, just keep practicing. One day you will be able to crack any SQL round. Okay, just keep practicing. Thank you very much for watching.